Hello everybody, Yemi Scoop, and Puss in Boots, The Last Wish is fucking incredible. Yeah, that's it. All right, thank you very much for watching, and keep it crispy. Nah, JK, JK, I, I'm just joking around. But honestly, this movie is so good that I don't actually think I can cover it in just one bite-sized review, and I think I'm gonna have to come back for a quest for the best, like, video essay one day, because it, it's, it's just that good. Like, holy crap. So if somehow you're watching this movie and you haven't seen clips of it all over Twitter or TikTok by this point, let me give you the basic plot summary. Puss in Boots is the living legend we all know and love, but after defeating a giant, he finds himself on the last of his nine lives and goes on an epic quest to retrieve the one and only wish from a fabled fallen star. Meanwhile, he's followed by a truly terrifying bounty hunter and racing against a few others who want the wish for themselves. Like, holy shit, guys, even the plot summary of this movie goes hard. It's insane. I really can't talk about this movie at all without giving spoilers due to its breakneck pace, so if you haven't seen the movie already, I'm gonna just jump ahead to the conclusion for you to see, and then I'm gonna, you know, go back and you can leave and not watch any of the spoiler stuff. Puss in Boots The Last Wish is a movie that feels like it's firing on all cylinders the entire way through. There's no scenes that drag in any way, shape, or form, and the entire movie is hilarious with stunning animation, a phenomenal DreamWorks level score, and lovable and memorable characters. Not only that, but the main villain of this movie, the unnamed bounty hunter, will certainly take his place among some of the best villains animation has to offer. If you haven't seen it yet, I strongly recommend doing so with a sibling or some friends, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna love it just like me and my friends did. Alright, that's all I got for you if you haven't seen it. Thank you very much for watching, now let's do some spoiler talk. Okay, I'm not, I, I can't hold it back anymore. Let's talk about the bounty hunter who's not even a bounty hunter. He's death. And I don't mean it metaphorically, or rhetorically, or theoretically, or poetically, or in any other fancy way. He's death. Straight up. That was, that was a pretty hard line. I mean, it was a little more comical than I would have liked, but <laughs> holy shit, dude. The villain in this movie is insane. Overall, every piece of this movie just fits together so damn well, but I feel like the main villain is the best example of this. Like, we have a character-driven adventure story with comic relief antagonists, but we need something to really kick the story into high gear and give us a serious threat. Well, Puts in Boots is an unstoppable sword-fighting cat, so what do we do? We make the story about him feeling like he's nothing without his extra lives to rely upon, and we personify Death as the only being he struggles to defeat in a fight. He's just a big-ass scary wolf with the two scythes and a spine chillin' whistle every time he shows up, it's perfect. It's like the movie does the best possible thing for everything that it attempts. The characters are going on a stereotypical quest on a path meant to teach them the lesson of the movie. Well, okay, let's make it pretty literal. Any person who touches the map gets a path tailor-made to them. Awesome. You want a villain who's frightening and poses an actual massive threat to the characters? Well, here's death for you to shit your pants whenever he shows up. Oh, you think you're better than us? Without us, you will always live a life of fear. You want a villain who's just unapologetically evil with no morals or a lesson learned? Well, here's Jack. Watch him fumble through the force with no Fs given while Jiminy Cricket has an absolute heart attack on his shoulder. You want a well-fleshed-out villain who ultimately has to learn the same lesson as the hero? Well, here's Goldilocks, a character I actually didn't like at first for her just-right gimmick that they repeat a lot, but who definitely grew on me by the end of the movie and was able to tug on my heartstrings a little bit during the climax. Puss is struggling with the fact that he feels like he has no one who truly loves him and that he's wasted his nine lives? Well, throw him in a magic cave where each of his past lives are shown to him and start pulling him back into being more of a self-centered ass that he's been growing out of since the start of the movie. It's just truly incredible not only how much this movie manages to try and do in only an hour and 40 minutes, but how it just does everything phenomenally. And that's what this movie is. It's just phenomenal in every sense of the word. It's a modern day classic that revitalizes animation at a somewhat dire time and goes toe to toe with the likes of Spider-Verse. Great acting, great score, stunning animation, tense fights with fun choreography, plenty of emotion, and even a catchy theme song for its main character. Who's so unbelievably humble? Who's your favorite fearless hero? Who's your favorite fearless hero? This movie, pretty easy 9 out of 10. I'm not even kidding. DreamWorks, I don't know what happened with Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. You put your whole Puss Sussy into this, and it just it came out phenomenally. Thank you for making this movie. Spectacular. 9 out of 10. Go see it, please. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry this video was a little bit short. I just don't have a whole lot of time to edit it because I'm at college, but I had to get this video out because this movie's so good. Like, I just need to talk about how much I loved it. So, thank you for allowing me to do that. Also, the reason I'm recording this not at my desk is because I felt like I had to show everyone that um, my desk isn't as messy as 
my roommate Miles' desk that's in the background of all my new videos. So yeah, I apologize that that's what you get to look at when you could be looking at, I mean, it's kind of messy while I have all my video making stuff out, but normally what would be kind of a decent background. So uh, thanks for putting up with that, I guess. And uh, yeah, keep it crispy.